So from an affordability perspective, the first thing that you would need to do is uh, you can go onto our website or onto Private Property's website and you can look at an affordability calculator. And essentially what that allows you to do is to get a guesstimate of um, just what your expenses are in relation to your income and you can then uh, work out what the surplus is. And that will give you an idea of just how much you can afford. But bear in mind that um, the other uh, aspect of, um, of how much you can afford will, determine, will be determined by your, your credit profile as well. And that will be all from an affordability perspective. Now, when you've looked at that, I think the best thing to do is not to settle on the absolute maximum that you can afford. You would need to leave some leeway for, for a contingency for, um, for incidents such as rate hikes um, or um, any other emergency that you might have on the place. So it's always advisable to have uh, some level of contingency you know, between 10 to 15% of your contractual payment um, handy.